G'day everybody, it's Joe here again, and in this very, very quick tutorial, I'm going to show you the difference between layers and sheets. Now, a lot of people have been asking me how to use layers and how to use sheets, and there's a lot of confusion over the two of things. And so, I'm just to differentiate them in this tutorial. Layers are really how you organise your various objects, your assets, onto a map. And the reason for that organisation um, is manifold. You could, for example, have a series of elements on your map that is visible by the GM only. Or you can have some elements on your map that you want to be able to select very quickly and manipulate. So when you're working with your map, it's a really good idea to think about what layers belong, sorry, what objects belong on what layers. The other thing to look at is sheets. Now sheets is campaign cartographer's way of applying special effects to a whole bunch of elements. And that's what gives you the magic of being able to make some elements colour themselves different colours or fade out or be transparent and so forth. Um, sheets can do things such as give your floors automatic walls. Um, now, the map that I have here is actually a map that we're working on for High Space, uh, for a new adventure for High Space called Into the Remnants. It's lots of fun. It involves 5,000 year old research laboratories, ancient civilizations, uh, monsters. Got to have monsters. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the two different types of texts I've got here. Now, as you can see, this map has got our title, it's got a sideways scan of the complex, which they're going to be exploring. Uh, there's some warning notices that have been generated by the computer um, of the scan. Um, and then there is a scan of more detail showing the top, mid and lower decks. Now, the scan can only show the walls. It can't show actually what's in there. So you can see on this map that I've actually got some of these areas, and I'll just zoom in for you. Some of these areas have got quite detailed information, including a crashed, well, not a crashed, but a, a miner's dropped their ship on the top of this thing right at the beginning of the game and totally screw up the players, because miners going in for salvage, you know, they're not exactly subtle, like uh, the players are really subtle with their crack grenades and God knows what else they take in. So what we have to do is we have to be able to have a way of having all of this GM detail taken off the player map. And I'm going to use layers to do that. So let's just zoom out a little bit first. And um, what we need to take off the map and what we need to put on the map should be put in two different layers. So I'm going to start by creating a layer. I'm going to call this add. And I'm going to call it GM only. Okay. So there you can see we've got a new layer. So we used, we clicked on the layer tool panel there created an area called GM only, I'm going to select that. Now then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the change properties tool, really useful tool, and I'm going to start to click on the various things that I only want the GM to be able to see. Now I'm going to include the shuttle, the, the outline of the, uh, the miner's shuttle here as well. that one so you can see all these textual descriptions all these arrows they're going up now I accidentally selected the whole floor of the base so I'm going to hold the control key down and click on it again to unselect that great so there we go, we've now selected all the elements that we want to be able to hide. And I'm going to right click and go do it. And then I'm going to make sure that the GM only layer is selected here and go. Now, watch what happens when we turn this layer off. So as you can see here with the layer status, uh, I'll just move my mouse to somewhere else there. So we'll click to be on this layer and I'm going to click on the middle square, which means hide that layer. A little H will come up. So hide the layer, click on OK. Voila, all of those descriptions disappear. So now the GM has got a way of creating a player-only map. And when the GM wants to create his map, then he can just unhide that, and they're all back. So definitely applying um, layers to objects is a great way of having them automate on and off, hiding, not hiding, selecting them all and changing the color, changing the size. In fact, that's something I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go... Um, again, change properties. I'm going to select everything in this area, the whole lot. But then I'm going to say, I only want to change. So by using the combine command, I only want to change. So it's select, combine, and 
the elements on layer, GM only, that one, click on OK. You can now see only the elements on GM, the GM layer have been selected. I'm now going to right click, go to do it, and I'm going to say I want to change the text properties and I want to make them alien league and I want to make them slightly larger. I'm going to make them, well, actually I'm going to make them 3.5. Um, just double check those. Yep, that looks all good to me. And I click on OK. You can actually now see the text is slightly larger and more importantly, it's now changed to that Alien League font. So what you can see there is you can also use layers to very quickly select or be selective in how you select. Does that make any sense? I think you get the idea. Um, elements. So layers, really, really important. Now the good news is that most of the time campaign cartographer, if you're using their standard tools, will automate that layer for you. But if you need to manually change what layers you're working with, you use this function here. So that's great. That's layers. So, so what we're now going to do is look at why, how sheets work. Now sheets are the way, as I said before, of describing to campaign cartographer how things look. But they can also be used to describe what things go on top of other things. So if we look at this map, um, we've got this uh, grey spaceship here. And it's just sitting there and it doesn't look like much, it just looks like a hole. And what I want to be able to do is, first of all, put that on a separate sheet. And then I'm going to apply a special effect on it. So it will actually be partly transparent and have an outline around it automatically. But more importantly, I want to make sure that it is on the very top of all of the elements in this. Uh, and that you can still see slightly under it with the transparency. So we're going to do that by clicking over on here on the sheet and effects. I'm going to add a new sheet. And I'm going to call this um, Overlay Floor. I'm going to click on OK. Um, I'm going to move it up in the stack slightly so it's not overlapping the border, it's not overlapping the texts, uh, but it is overlapping everything except for the grid, the screen, and the text. In other words, it's going to sit over the base but not over any text there. And then I'm going to apply some special effects to it. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add an, um, a glow, an inner glow. One. Okay, and the other thing I said I was going to make it transparent, so I'm going to click on Add, a new, special, a new effect to this. Transparency, and we'll leave it at 50% for the moment. We'll take a look at what it looks like. Um, so far, it doesn't look like a lot. There we go. If we zoom in on it, it hasn't done much effect. Ah, the reason for that is we've got the sheet, but we haven't put this element on the sheet. So, let me now uh, click on the Change Properties. Click on our ship. I'm going to go do it. And I'm going to say put the sheet on the overlay floor. Click on OK. And now if we activate the sheet, fantastic. I don't know if you can see that well on the video, but we now have a quite a transparent ship. The outline didn't come through out, uh, didn't come out quite as much as I wanted, so I'm going to click on this again. I'm going to go to the inner glow, edit. I have, I think I've made it white instead of black. This mapping work can get, it, it, can, it can do stuff to your brains sometimes. Anyway, I think we got that now. Let's try that. Bonza. Now it's too thick, so I'll, I'll adjust that inner glow again. We'll make it only two points. We'll make it uh, one. Okay. Bingo. So now you have a transparent ship guaranteed to sit over the top. And in fact, if we, if we zoom out on that now, you'll actually see it looks quite good. So now the GM has got a sheet where he can see that the ship is sitting on top of the building. It's a temporary fixture. Uh, the GM can also then go and say, I'm only going to show the players. Do, 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 do. I'm going to hide this from the players. There we go, we'll go hide. So now it's gone, the ship's gone. <laughs> um, and of course, if you want to render the maps, you very rarely bring campaign cartographer to the table. Uh, you can actually then just go File, Save As. Um, I'm going to make this a PNG file, a uh, rectangular section PNG file. We'll mark this as Players Map. There you go. That's now going to render out to a Players Map without 
all the extra secret stuff that the GM wants, and then if the GM wants uh, a map of his own to bring to the table or put on his iPad, then what he would do is he would go click, unhide the GM only stuff that's affecting the layers. We can now see that all the rest of the detail has come in, and the starship is there, and it's a little minor spaceship is there, and it's it's been outlined for him and it's transparent, so we can see what's underneath it, and he can then go save as. Save it as another rectangular section PNG. GM only. Save. Bingo. And if we now go and uh, look and I'll just bring this window over here. There we go. This is the actual oh, that's not good. That's the output. see two different maps. So layers for organizing stuff, sheets for making stuff pretty and uh, determining what goes on top of what. And it's that simple. And now I do have a, uh, a number of other um, tutorials explicitly on using sheets uh, for automating your mapping. I suggest you go and look at those. But you can use sheets in all sorts of different maps, overland maps, uh, science fiction maps, dungeon maps, you name it. Have fun, great mapping. Catch you later. Bye.